How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Today's lesson, we're going to do this cute little cartoon boy. All right, let's begin today's lesson, and I will be working with my traditional mechanical pencil on a standard 8.5 by 11 paper. What I'm going to simply do is give you a quick rundown once again on creating cartoons and how to sketch and um, using your imagination, of course. So as you can see here, I'm simply uh, building the shapes that I have, the head, the body and the legs and the feet quickly sketching out very lightly. Um, my pencil that I'm using is about a um, HB weight. Um, I'll go over that in future lessons on a different uh, lead weight. Here's his arm and he's just holding like maybe uh, some bread. I'm going to think about that. All right. And here's his face. And, you know, and let's work on his little cheek here. He's turning, looking left and his body is going towards the right side. Feel free to change the style any way you want to, but just understand the technique that I'm sharing with you is really critical in becoming a better artist, how you actually sketch. And you'll notice I don't really worry about erasing because if I don't like a line, I'll just move it a little bit heavier left or right. That's why I sketch light first and then follow a little heavier. Here's his hair. I'm just going to quickly just make a uh, very simple short hair on silicate. Referencing on hair is something that's really good to do. And how do you do that? Believe it or not, our barber shop has a, a whole bunch of uh, pictures and posters of style of people's hairs. Uh, that's what we had to do when we were going to art school. We actually went to barber shops and took pictures and uh, or drew, should I say, uh, there's different styles that they had. Very simple. Or, believe it or not, going to an airport and just seeing people walking by and sketching from there as well. All right, so here's the back of his um, little back there. He's getting a little curve to the shirt there and his shoulder here. And if you notice, again, right now I am going a little heavier with the actual um, pencil weight because I kind of have the form for the um, the placement of all the for this picture. I'm sorry, I'm just drawing at the same time. And here we go. Here's, there's the bread. I'm going to make a loaf of bread. And there, he just had some fresh bread made up. All right, is it an Italian or is it a French loaf? I don't know. All right, and, and he's actually going to be, let's make him barefoot so he doesn't have any shoes on. So there are little toes crinkled up in his heel there. All right, that's looking good. His bottom down there. All right, just overlapping action. So when you're thinking about doing stuff like this again, when you're, um, want to practice and sketch if you have to look at somebody else's artwork or pictures of babies um, or young kids those are ways to actually be very beneficial of becoming a better artist you may not be able to pull this out of your out of your memory banks or your creativity right away so if you need referencing go and look for it same thing what i shared just moments ago with the hairstyle and the same thing with the shirts you can do the same thing with clothing uh, we used to have to have a file full of different clothes and uh, techniques with the wrinkles and style. So if we're looking for something, we can quickly pull that out. Because you're not going to always remember how something looked from the 1970s, 80s, 40s, and our current style right now as well. So having references is very good. And there we go with the eyes. Little nose right there. All right, there's a little cheek. And around the corner, a little heavier. A little simple one. This will be definitely one, as many of the other ones I shared, that I'm going to do coloring lessons on. So I'm going to give you this one. I'm going to ink in on the computer and then just lay in some flat colors. And then I'm also going to print that ink one out and do some coloring with colored pencils, actually. So stay tuned for future lessons on this one, on that. And I'm going to color that sleeve on that back a little darker. His arm, his thumb grabbing it on there, his finger all the way around. There we go, the knuckles there. His arm, let's get to his little, little toes there. That's looking good. All right, a little bit more. There we go, the change. And again, some of the hardest things for a lot of uh, beginning artists are, believe it or not, hands and feet. 
Um, so you may want to practice just sketching hands and feet in different positions and different styles. And the more you practice on anything, the better you will become as well as like just sketching on a daily basis. If you're put aside like at least half hour to an hour of sketching every day, now you become a better artist. I can guarantee you. And uh, there we go with the hair here. And the same thing with when coloring too. The more you practice with different mediums, the better you will become. Practice makes perfect in that case. All right, the hair. Let's make a long one down the middle. Another one on the side there. That's the side of his head there. His ear over there. Yep. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. He's almost done. So shading the hair a little bit right there, so we can kind of separate the different. Um, area so you can the hair just stands out now the contrast from the face a little bit light to the hair dark and the little you know what i'm going to make it like an italian bread where it has it cuts on there and some sesame seeds on top maybe there we go and just holding it there i like that it's kind of cute there's a little smile on his face there i give it a little highlight on there his eyebrow over here now finishing doing the final touching and the uh technique of um when you're just drawing again once again so when you get to this level and you finish the picture and you may want to um, do a little bit more rendering or change something keep it to your left or to your right and redraw it and just focus on what the things you want to do again so challenge i should actually say is try to do the same picture twice so if you do it once do it again and see what uh you actually can kind of learn from that so you know let, let's create like he's outside some little grass blades or trees in the background randomly shaped here and there really really tall like he's like a honey i i shrunk the kids kind of deal like he's a really big and there are some little shrubs in the background a little shadow really quick place them underneath there all right simple yeah so as always let's sign and date and share with your family and friends